Hello everyone, my name is Arisa. I'm from class of 2023. Today I'm going to make a presentation on radiographic interpretation. So the radiograph taken is intraoral periapical radiograph on fourth quadrant. Firstly, we interpret the normal anatomical landmark. The first one uh, is uh, the external oblique ridge. Uh, this is a radio opaque band which extends from the anterior border of the ramus um, downward and forward. So you can see here, downward and forward. And then uh, next is also the radio opaque band which uh also extend downward and forward and this is known as internal oblique ridge here and then we can uh, appreciate the mandibular channel here the radial lucent line and we also can appreciate the step ladder pattern here. This is a, a trabecular plate that are arranged in horizontal manner. Okay. So next, we move on to tooth of interest. Um, so there are three tooth uh, present here, 4, 5, 4, 6, and 4, 7, and my tooth of interest is 4, 6. So the first one, we interpret the crown first. So for crown, it is radio opaque from occlusal until cervical area resembles a crown and then next uh, is the root it is a uh, radio opacity involving a uh, both root canal suggestive of root canal treatment next is the um, height of the alveolar crest uh, the height of alveolar crest uh, have no relevant finding. Uh, the fourth one is the periodontal ligament space. So periodontal ligament space, uh, you can see, is widening at the apex, extends until the frication area. Next is the lamina dura. The lamina dura also has loss of continuity here. Loss of continuity at the distal apex of root and it also extends until the frication area. The last one is the uh, alveolar bone proper. Uh, which is ill-defined radiolucency at the apex extends up to the frication area. So, uh, the radiographic diagnosis is 4-6 chronic periapical abscess with differential diagnosis of endoperial abscess. Um, that's all for my presentation today. Thank you, everyone.